Okay, so this is a start of a new series of Upgrade Through History, where I upgrade an old proc and an upgrade through its history, starting off with an iMac. So the condition of it's a mid-2007 iMac, released in, I believe, August 2007. Really old. Already through, um... Alright, factory, uh, not factory reset, um, device has been, space has, storage is gone, so we're back to the beginning. Installer, the old, 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 licensing agreement, Ready? this is the original disc, for the iMac, options, can install OS X, Archive install, I can erase and install the whole drive. Which I won't, it's already gone. Disk 2, we'll just wait for that one. Applications, don't need iMovie, don't need iPhoto, I can install those later. Same with GarageBand, I DVD, I Web, don't need. I Work 08, don't need. Office 04, don't need. X11 I do need, Goodbye Office, Translations I don't need, Drivers I don't need for the printer except Hewlett Packard, X11, Road Booth, don't need Office of 04, and that's it. That's all basically what I need. I go ahead and click install. And start the installation of Mac OS X. Let's show my installation to you. See if it actually works this version. And DVD is running. Now, this goes on for quite a long time. Unfortunately, audio does not work on this Mac, which is a, a shame. But once I get back to, once I get back to the setup process, I'll continue where we left off. I'll be back. Okay, so now that the Mac is starting to start up, since it's start up phase for our Mac OS X Tiger, running 10.4.10. .10. This is the out of box experience, so just came out of the box. No, I have for a couple of months. Actually, last year, so. Really old. Really old system. Still sitting on Mac OS X for first time use. The old step start process for Mac OS X Tiger. Released in 05. An Intel release in 2006 and 2007. And as we can tell, there is absolutely nothing. A welcome, welcome video for OS X Tiger, which unfortunately nothing appears because the computer does not have any audio. Mac OS X Tiger 10.4, and here we are, as best as I can, United States. Find the mouse, yep, United States. Continue. Don't transfer my information. Keyboard is United States. Wireless service. Stop here. Keep a hold of it and next up we're going to enter my Apple ID. Uh, should I do that now or later? I'll do it later. 
George Mays. Yeah, to register. Here's what I do. I am a home user. Well, don't stay in touch with Apple services. Click continue. I want a password, which I do. Do I want a hint? No. Snapshot. There's me. Um, this usually go with the volume set. Select my time zone. Chicago, USA, which is the closest city. Uh, right date, right time, yep. Don't forget to register. And voila, welcome to OS 10 Tiger 10.4.10. I'll be back once I get my USB drivers installed and I can go through what this has. I'll be back. Okay, so I can't do recording from inside the operating system because, well, QuickTime is the old QuickTime 7. I actually get up. There is Apple QuickTime. Go to File, try to do movie recording, and it wants me to pay for it. And as I thought, uh, no. It'd be a little bit tough to do. I can go down here, right click, and quit a QuickTime. iCal, this is your calendar for. For Apple, don't actually need iCal at the moment. We'll do iTunes last. Address book as well. You want to have a bunch of addresses and a lot of people. iChat, which of course got superseded by um, by FaceTime. Set up all that dot Mac. I don't have one at the moment. I have it's like I have to set up. What I do is just exit out. Which I can't, so I might have to go over to Force Quit. Force Quit iChat. And there we go. iChat has been gone. Dashboard. Check the temperature. I can also add any other add-ons for it, which I don't have. Probably won't be on support. Mail is basically your mail. Um, let's see here. Safari. Yes, this is this is Safari. Can not identify. Let's see if I actually load Apple's website. Oh, just barely does. Um, that just enlarges the page, not full screen. And I'll come down to Yosemite. About Safari 2.0.4. This is the old version. So that does work. Um, let's go to Photo Booth. I can take half on this. I can take pictures. Pictures with my eyesight camera and all that. Nice and fun. It's a fun add-on. Um, let's see here. Ah, yes, the Finder. Of course, that's the Finder. Yeah, the 
binder. Not a big. Um, it has old iSync, Internet Connect, Mail, QuickTime, text that it previews on here. Sherlock, the old, old Sherlock. Spotlight is up in the corner. We still have Sherlock in here. Really old, but still works. See if it does. Looks like it does. Do I know how to use it? Probably not. Oh, hey, Sherlock is really old. Um, I should go the old keyboard that I have. Do command and escape. You heard that I have headphones on? Yes. So this is front row. Apple's home media. Play stuff from here. Play my photos from iTunes. My music from iTunes. Any videos that I have. It's a good application. Your escape key brings me back to the Tiger front page. The Tiger desktop. Um, right click, I click on the application. Let's go to Preferences is what it looked like in OS and Tiger. Really old, really old how it looked. Um, still to the printer, I fax it. This iMac does have Bluetooth in it. Display 16, 16 by 1050. Let's go over to um, about this Mac. 10.10 towards Intel Core Duo. More, more info. Yeah, iMac, Intel Core Duo, audio. Audio doesn't work except for my Bluetooth, which actually my uh, USB headphones, which kind of looks like Bluetooth. Uh, fire up to 800 for an 800 is there. First displays, Radeon 2400 HD. Really old, 4GB of memory. Don't have any printers. A USB, my optical mouse, Apple Pro keyboard, my Logitech headset, so I'm used for sound. No modems, applications. This does work with PowerPC applications, which I might test with Office 4 on maybe Snow Leopard. Otherwise, let's uh, find, find one is iTunes. Yeah, iTunes licensing agreement, I'll click agree. Welcome to iTunes, uh, first cancel. And this is what iTunes looked like way back in 2004. In 2000, so deck to it, 7, and 2007, so yeah, really old. Um, going to click on the radio. What it tries to do is connect to a service which isn't there, so... Nope, it doesn't work. So I need probably need a better iTunes version. Then that's about it. About all I have on iTunes. Um, I think this is just OS 10 Tiger. I might discs, my Macintosh hard drive, a DVD, and I have an untitled folder. Otherwise, that's about it. This is. Mac OS X Tiger 10.4.10, the original version on the original Let's get out of the system The original disc of Mac OS X Tiger 10.4.10 running on an iMac mid-2007 Next operating system to look at is 10.5 Leopard, released in 2007. What a gap. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'm so it's a good day. Thank you for watching.